<laughs> Look at all the beautiful flowers. Too bad it's a distillery or a dispensary. <laughs> yeah, dispensaries on every corner in Alaska. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, we're in Tilkeetna, and it's very quiet. It's Monday morning. There's, there is a train in town, so most of these people are from the train tourists. So. Uh, we're going to get some spinach bread for breakfast. <laughs> and then we're probably going to go to Conscious Coffee. So I came down here. Heather's waiting with the spinach bread for me to get back over there and get our hot drinks over here. I thought they had matcha, but they don't. They've got all kinds of sipping stream teas, though. <laughs> so we went a little crazy. They've got migas, they call it. And uh, we got it with pork. And then the the spinach, spinach bread and some rhubarb crisp. Uh, that I already bitten into, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got a take and bake. Now the take and bake is um, it's two two of these and uh, oh, they're frozen. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, I actually put an extra in the oven. I was gonna come on after at the end of this. Um, video but I think I'll use the driving time to talk <laughs> so it'll be a little bit shorter video and I just wanted to say I know you know summer's hard and it's hard to get help um, but you know if you're a touristy town uh, don't shut down for a week <laughs> at a time <laughs> I was so disappointed in Telkeetna. Um, I mean, they had a really, really busy holiday weekend. It was cram packed when we were in there. Um, you know, the Saturday and Sunday. But at the beginning of the week, Monday, everything was closed. And there were signs on the door that, you know, a lot of people were not going to be closed or not going to be open until. Um, Friday again so you know at least put something on social media <laughs> because um, the one thing that we really did want to do is get bakery goods from the Telkeetna Roadhouse and there were tourists in town like I said with the railroad and they you know asked they were asking other businesses about the roadhouse and it has not been open to the public since um, COVID. It, you have to have reservations and then I s don't think the restaurant is open at all still uh, but they do have a walk-up window for their bakery for the baked goods and you know that's their you know draw that's what everybody wants. They want the, the Tokino Roadhouse uh, baked goods. And um, yeah, they weren't going to be open all week. And from looking at reviews, it looks like, you know, it's kind of hit or miss when they're going to be open, when they're going to have baked goods. So, you know, keep that in mind. And 
Um, we could not find anything on social media. They haven't put anything even on their Facebook uh, for a very long time. They do put local events on there. Um, it's, I don't know, it is what it is. It's kind of sad. But we, we are coming up to Denali and Denali was still closed. The park itself was still closed. It was going to open on July 10th and it did. Um, they had gotten rain the day after we came through and it ended up 97% contained that fire. So they were fighting the fire when we got there. Uh, you'll see some of that. Uh, Heather actually got good video. Oh, I didn't get the pictures off of Heather's video. Huh, I'll have to see if I can get that clip off of her. Um, yeah, uh, the guy on the bike, people do. They actually ride their bikes, you know, not motorcycle bikes, but pedal power bikes from, you know, Denali to Fairbanks. And, uh, you know, like, or, you know, all the way down to Anchorage. You know, they, they have challenges that they'll do that. Okay, we're coming up to the fire and, um, and then we'll be here talking in just a minute. So I'll leave you to that. through here when it first started it went all the way around the hill in this valley so so it is a lot longer than you think you know but we don't see any smoke right now which is good and it's I'm sure you can see the rain in the video it's trying I mean it looks dry here <laughs> it looks dry they need, uh, they, they need a, yeah, yeah, they need a good dumping. <laughs> Looks like that bear's gonna get you, Heather. 
So this is Cephala's dog team in Fairbanks. I don't think there's a date on it. But all of these pictures, they're from all over Alaska. This one's from Dawson. And I asked about them because they're numbered. And apparently, there used to be a book that had descriptions for all of these pictures in this. And all the walls are covered in here, all of them. Ooh, we finally got our appetizer. Some fried ravioli. Oh my gosh, I used to make pesto like that. Oh. <laughs> For these things from when you guys were little. You always had to get a bag of rocks. <laughs> those are always such pretty colors. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. Goodness, look at that raging river. And they raft down here. Crazy. So I came over here to sit and wait because the train is coming down the tracks. And guess what's right here? This trestle bridge. To get the train going over the bridge. That's something I've been wanting to do for a very long time. I'm gonna move over here a little bit. Maybe you can see where the fire, they're still fighting the fire up on this hill. See how far that fire goes up there? See where the train is? It is really close to the train tracks. That's why this train is coming so slow. pretty slow through here anyway because it's got some things that it has to deal with but it's a passenger train in the train. Here it comes. Woohoo! If there's any people waving. Uh-huh. 